What are you drinking? Yoo-hoo! It's a time for a, what day is it, a Tuesday? Yes, it's time for yes. a Tuesday morning, Thrifty Business Thrift Hall. I'm your one host, Vegas Jay. What's happening? And I have a very special guest host today, a color commentator, if you will, <laughs> my good friend, Kim Gordon. What's happening, Kim? Hi. How are you? What's going on? Now, Kim was having a little bit of technical difficulties with her computer, so a she's little. on her phone. And yes. uh, so, you know, we so make we it with it. what we got. That's right. And you just tell me if and I, I call. I think, huh? Yeah, well, I think you're sitting in your photo studio, aren't you, Cam? I've never seen your photo studio before. Oh, you haven't? No. <laughs> Here it is. This dress that you're working on? Um, yeah, that's today's dress. And then I've got a pile. Well, you don't want to see the pile because the pile is kind of high. I've got a lot to work on today. Yeah, well, I'm about to show a ton of stuff. So this is my new pile. <laughs> uh, or... More importantly, Sophia's new pile. So today <laughs> I'm having Sophia be my lovely Vanna White here today because, okay. because I got a lot of I got a lot of big and tall stuff. So it'd just be easier if I shoot to that camera and then she holds it. So I, so you guys can actually see it. And uh, we're gonna jump right in because so uh, if you don't know, uh, I was up in Salt Lake City uh, when I bought my brand new Ford Raptor. Unbeknownst to me, the day I bought it. Uh, you get a free day at the Raptor Assault Driving School in Salt Lake City. I've never been to Salt Lake, and so I thought, well, I'll take some time to thrift, and I'm glad I did because there is a lot of stuff in Salt Lake, and there's a lot of good CDs too. But let's get right to the thrifted goods. So, Cam, you this is the first time you've done a show with me. Uh, it is. Feel free to talk about every item, no items. You know, anytime you want to chime in on anything fun. Okay. Uh, feel free. To. I wasn't sure you uh, were going to make it home with the way your truck looked. You have <laughs> no, that truck can hold a ton. Uh, you a had truck. a ton. <laughs> All right. So, uh, okay. you know, two things uh, I always tell everyone to buy is big sizes and overalls, especially pinstripe, like you're a, a choo choo train engineer. <laughs> train. That's great. So, these are key imperial. The brand's okay. The brand isn't, you know, the most exciting, but it is a 56 waist. And uh, so big, and of course, it is Halloween time. So right now, we're going to obviously add a train engineer uh, a Halloween costume. <laughs> and who else likes these Kims? Bears. And if you don't know what a bear is, <laughs> imagine me as actually gay. Bears are big, very <laughs> gay men. I walk right that line, but, but bears love overalls. They love overalls and no shirts. And so bears are typically on the bigger side. Size 56 waist means bear okay. size. Okay. Well, there we go. And as, uh, who said that? Uh, Robin said, yeah, stripes are slimming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when they're going that way. <laughs> yep. All right. So these are vintage Levi's. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure what style because it kind of wore off. They are orange tab. I'm looking for the inner label. I think they're made in the USA. Yep. There's the inner label. So, uh, made in the USA, weighs 36, 34. Those are all things you should grab normally, but these, and I know Kim rocked a ton of pair of these because I've seen pictures. These are <laughs> after the last one, whatever you want to call it. Those are great. So, uh, you know, vin vintage uh, Levi's do well, but this right now is hot. This is hot. You can command a, uh, a premium. For the acid wash, maybe I need right to go now. dig in the back but, of my closet. Do you still have your originals? I, I, somewhere I do. Yes, I don't, I don't throw away a lot. That's the problem. <laughs> so you know, Kim, I do like to introduce new terms to the people who watch my shows, and I see right now some people have never heard the term bear before. So now you've learned <laughs> something new. It is an audience to market to, and you know, bears uh, love overalls. And you know who told me that, Kim? A who? bear that we both know, Griff. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. I, Griff and I were speaking in Kansas 100 years ago, and I said, hey, I was in a Goodwill, and they had an overall section. I ain't never been in a thrift store with an overall section, but middle of the country, Kansas, they have an overall section. Uh -huh. And he, he goes, did you buy them all? I go, no. He goes, bears love them. Get them. Bears. So, See, I've never heard of bears either. Till right now? Till right now. What? Oh I my know. gosh. And then 
then the guys that bears bears like other bears, and then they like uh, smaller guys who aren't big nor hairy, and they're called cubs. Learn something new every day here. <laughs> All right. So uh, Tommy Bahama, although these are very plain and boring, they are the uh, relax line, and uh, they will go nicely with a Hawaiian shirt. So they're a decent I like size. Or third, I paid to three ninety nine. I'll probably sell them for about thirty bucks. And then my last pair of jeans is my score. Now, I have some other jeans. I'm not showing you everything because there's no point in showing you just middle of the road Levi's mm -hmm. that I bought for two, three bucks. We'll sell for 25. This is my winner. And I didn't even know how much of a winner when I bought them. So, y'all know what that logo is, right? It's Adidas, isn't it? Yep. But or then no. when you look at the okay. tag, yep, when you look at the tag, <laughs> it is. Oops, let me get it in there. It is diesel jeans. And I'm like, did diesel and Adidas work together? Are these some kind of wonky fakes? But they are reals. And here's how much more badass they are, Kim. So one of the things I teach people is when you have uh, dual brands. So here we have Adidas and diesel. Boom. Right. That's awesome. Because you got two different, uh, you know, forms Big of brands. customers. Mm -hmm. This is three branded. These are not only diesel Adidas. These are They're David Levi. Beckham. Oh my God. These are David are Beckham diesel Adidas jeans that sell for like $90. I paid $4.99 for them. I didn't even know Beckham had a line of jeans. I didn't either. And who's Beckham married to? My girls. Uh, I know. Housewife. But she has a line of clothes. She does her, yeah. her whole line of clothing. So there's I know little, your girl. Little Adidas stuff all throughout it. Uh, the stripes on the side. So these are pretty cool. Now these. Those are very cool. Because they're they're unique, but that's my winner. That's my winner. Yay! And we have someone watching Kim who sold a pair of those before. So small world. Wow. Yeah, those All are right. very cool. So, this was in uh, one. These two things kind of go together. So if you don't know, uh, Triumph motorcycles are kind of cool. Uh -huh. so I found a pretty sweet Triumph T-shirt. Yep, but, I like that. What do I tell people to look for in the Halloween section? Things that aren't really costumes. Boom. Yeah. This was in the Halloween section. This Triumph button. Oh, that is so cool. What's on the back? Oh, yep. that's neat. Uh, they are mediums. They came at the same store, and they're both mediums. So, obviously, the same poor son or husband <laughs> just lost his Triumph shirt. <laughs> that's the end of that. Uh, no, uh, to back up... Uh, Bobby, it does not say David Beckham. I just I just learned that by doing my research. But uh, this is cool. It was in the Halloween section for three dollars and ninety nine cents. I'm gonna put it up for forty dollars. Wow. Again, to keep your eyes peeled for other things like that. These were in separate stores, but it's funny that I found two things. This is a Fender guitar ah, T-shirt by, by Lucky Brand. So now we're doing dual brands again. Hmm. So there's the uh, Fender Lucky brand tag. I like that. And then in another store, I found this Fender custom shop t-shirt. And what's cool is the back. Bam. Oh, that's great. So any guitar stuff, shirts you find, uh, get it. Uh, and then to go okay. along with that, this is a Gibson shirt. So we went from Fender to Gibson. Fender to Gibson, okay. But this is from the Gibson Tour Wear. It's a button down with all the Gibson guitars. Wow. So uh, this is a large. Oh, yeah, large? This is a large. Yeah, by the way, I, I always forget to say this. Everything you see is for sale. So if you like anything, you're watching, <laughs> watching, watching after the fact, hit me up. I'm more than happy to cut a deal with you. The Fender t-shirt was uh, the black one with the cool Fender on the back was XXL. And the Lucky brand was large. So, uh, Susan, the first uh, Fender shirt was large. All right. Now, Kim, I think you've sold okay. these before. I've sold plenty. This is not the most exciting one, but the price was exciting. Here's a cool Robert Graham. That the, is very cool. Let me see the inside. Now, the print is all that uh -huh. exciting, but it's, but it's got the little, like, it's a tuxedo-type shirt there. Yeah. Uh, but here is the inside. Oh, that's great. I like and if that. you don't know Robert Graham, here's what I, I don't think the store knew what it was or noticed it because there's the label because it was three dollars. <laughs> <gasps> score? No kidding, score. That is awesome. 
Wow. But now I have not looked up this specific design, but Robert Graham's new run upwards of $250. So even as the boring design for three bucks. Yep. Hang on, I gotta get rid of uh, some spam uh, porn in the chat. Excuse me a minute. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That is the We're first. We're adding a little extra spice hey, to the show today. Yeah, hey Robin, I know you're watching. I'm making you a moderator. <laughs> you you see any shenanigans like that, Robin? Feel free to get rid of it. Okay. She's watching it. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and this is an extra large, by the way. Oh, that's great. See, that'll go so fast. Now, here's two brands, Kim, I always tell you about. You should know because you've been hanging around me for a while now. Uh, and I belong to this club. It is the Dive Bar T-Shirt of the Month Club. Oh, yeah. You said they just make them for a certain amount of time, it's right? And then that's month. it. Just one month. And so the rule is it has to be an existing dive bar, so these are not fake. And they mm -hmm. can sell their own shirts, just not online. So Dive Bar comes in. They make them new artwork to coincide with their bar. And then one month and it's done. So this is for... Uh, one shot Charlie's in Harrison, Idaho. And so people love, their, you know, someone who has been there once or, or that is their home bar. When they can't get this anymore, they're happy to pay mm -hmm. for it. So I always pick them up for like three, four bucks. And I sell them from anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks. So Dive Bar T-Shirt Club, buy them all. I never found one. It's kind of like my Tiki. I'm well, still Rob, waiting. Robin, we <laughs> had another porn already? Gosh, I guess the uh, the porn trolls are hot today. Thanks for uh, being on top of it, Robin. Now, another brand that I love to buy. It is not as hot as it used to be, but it still sells pretty well. It is Johnny Cupcakes. Johnny Cupcakes. Are you familiar with Johnny Cupcakes, Kim? I'm not. Uh-uh. When you walk into the Johnny Cupcakes store on Newberry Street in Boston you would think you were actually in a cupcake store. It'll take you a while to realize you're in a t-shirt store. It's got the glass um, racks on angles like you would have pastries. And then that you is and like, cool. Those aren't cupcakes, those are t-shirts. <laughs> so oh, this is stunning. their logo and they're collectible. If you go, when you're done watching my show, go look up Johnny Cupcakes t-shirt, sort by sold mm -hmm. the highest. This is kind of, eh, but this one's kind of fun based on what I just taught you. Johnny oh. Cupcakes. Unordinary bake shop. That I love that one. That's cool. Yeah. Johnny so Cupcake. they've done stuff with Boston Celtics, and those tend to go for like two, three hundred dollars. But these, I picked them up for about three bucks. They'll probably get me anywhere from twenty to thirty dollars. But it's a brand that people mm -hmm. look for for collectability. Now, speaking of and collectibility, they only have one store. Uh, well, you know, There's only I one Johnny Cupcake. I, I don't oh. know. I don't know if they just have one nowadays. But I've been in the one on on Newberry Street in Boston. Huh. Speaking of collectability, you know, we all love ah. it. Now, this <laughs> you can see. It's I know a, that. It's a little worn out, but I did not remember this ad campaign. Come to think of it, eBay. I think that was way pre me. I don't even so remember. That, so, so, Bridget, uh, one of my lifeguards in the thrifting board, looked it uh -huh. up. It was 2010. And uh, if anyone likes this, uh, it is a large. All right, other things yeah. that go together are Star Wars items. Yay! Yay! So now, Star Wars has bazillion things, so be picky. But also realize new Star Wars comes out in three months. So this is pretty cool. This is Darth with a Death Star and a little space battle, but I like the mm -hmm. back. It's kind of like a jersey. Dark Lord 77. Dark Lord. <laughs> I like that. So, it's cool. For those of you who don't know, that's when Star Wars came out, 1977. Now, Kim, we'll propel ourselves into the new Star Wars, and we'll be seeing this guy again in three months. Here's okay. a pretty cool BB-8 BB uh, t-shirt like a jersey. I like that. And that uh, BB-8 is extra large. All right, Kim, I told you I was going to quiz you All today, right. so here's your first quiz. <laughs> What's that stand for? Oh no, see, I don't know. EDC, is that, that's what it says you. I should know. Yep, it started in LA and then a death caused it to go to Vegas. It is the Electric Daisy Carnival. Electric Daisy Carnival! Oh, you are too late, you are too late. Ah. <laughs> 
So Electric Daisy Carnival is the big DJ three-day weekend festival. It happens every summer in Vegas. They're actually backing it up this coming year, too, so it's not so hot. So I might be going this year. It did start in oh, and Insomniac is the company that produces it. I don't know if you can see that, but it, this is the actual uh -huh. Insomniac brand yeah, right there. Uh, the Electric Daisy Carnival. Yeah, they always had it when it was too hot. So they're moving it now? Yeah. Yeah, so they're backing it up a month. And all EDC branded stuff does quite well. All right, Kim. All right. Your second challenge. Are you going to quiz me again? I'm going. <laughs> yes. Who is this? Oh, gosh. I'll give you a little hint. It says, do what you like. Oops. So if Kim don't know, we'll see if Come anyone. Come on, Sophia. Sophia, spell it out. I can see you. Come on. <laughs> All right. So anyone in the chat know who oh. this is? His name is. Uh, you be it, quiet. It goes with the nursery nope. rhyme. Yes, so it, it, go, it goes with the nursery huh? rhyme. It goes with the nursery rhyme. With the nursery. Yep. So, hey, uh, Nevada Vision. Come on. You no, know, go ahead. Tell me. It's a quiz. I have no clue. Oh, Nevada, no, Vintage. Nevada Vintage went real hardcore. So this is Shock G or Humpty Hump. The Humpty Dance is your chance. That's Humpty Hump? <laughs> I know the song, but I didn't know what he looked like. Yeah, so this isn't a big time selling shirt, but any type, any vintage rappers, and I will definitely call Digital Underground Vintage, that it does quite well. Modern rap t-shirts do not do well at all, so do not waste your time, and most of it is bootleg. But Tupac, Biggie, Run DMC, Beastie Boys, Digital Underground, old time stuff always does quite well. And yes, good job on knowing Shock G, I'm impressed. Now, Here's a little bonus trivia. Digital Underground was in a movie, I think, called Nothing in Common with Chevy Chase and Demi Moore and um, Dan Aykroyd. And they're in the movie. And Shock G and Humpty Hump are the same person, but Humpty has the nose. So if you watch that movie, when Shock G's <laughs> rapping, he turns around and you only see his back when Humpty's rapping. So they did a little... <laughs> oh, hey, Candace! I didn't realize it was you. All right, so... Um, I bought this badass Alice Cooper shirt, and I'm pretty sure it's fake. The graphics are impressive. But when I look around, I don't find this shirt anywhere now. I happen to know, I don't know if it's Alice's tour manager or an assistant on the road, but a friend named Bougie, she works for Alice, and uh, she was just on tour with him. So I'm going to send her a picture. So use your Rolodex when you can. I'm just going to ask her, hey, is this a legit shirt? Because I, I will not sell it if it isn't legit. All right, and there we go. I don't usually, Kim, I don't usually buy Aeropost style t-shirts, but look how cool this one is. There's a tiki cocktail in the pocket. Oh, uh, with a pineapple, that's very cool. And the umbrellas. Now, who makes that? Yeah. Uh, oh, Aeropost style? Aeropostle? That I say it? I don't know. I don't, I don't wear it, <laughs> yeah. nor do I have children, so let me tell you. <laughs> so I thought that one was pretty cool. So that, that mm -hmm. there are plentiful. And three more T-shirts. Uh, Breaking Bad T-shirts did quite well when Breaking Bad was on. There's so many of them, they don't do so well anymore. Mm -hmm. And although this is from the official Breaking Bad line, I did pick it up because Better Call Saul is still on the air. And, it's, and, it's an <laughs> awesome and, that, and new, like that. new, tag. new okay. tags. That's great. And this is an extra large, so... Uh, you know, I could probably get 20, 22 bucks for it. I paid three ninety nine for it. Good deal. Speaking of TV shows, I, mm -hmm. I've never seen the show. I'm sure I'll catch some shit because I've never seen it. Uh, oh, uh, Candace is saying, add it to the bootleg piles fake. Are, are you talking about the Alice Cooper, Candace? Because I'm pretty sure you're right. Uh, but I've never seen It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. This is the bar they go to or in the show. Yeah. I'm not and, seeing the uh, show, but I thought, be, I thought it'd be a good purchase, but uh, there's a ton of them, but I can still get about 15 to 18 bucks for it. Yeah. Look, hmm? look at John Davis coming up with the bonus knowledge. And I should have said that. Yes. Tupac got his start as a backup dancer in the group digital underground. So if you watch that what? movie, yeah. So if you go back to early uh, digital underground videos, Tupac's one of their uh -huh. dancers. <laughs> That's great. I have to go back and watch that. 
And then Disney shirt, but oh. big size, 3XLT. It is DuckTales. 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 <laughs> so, uh, you know, I like Duck the DuckTales shirt isn't a big seller, but in 3XLT, uh, it, it is will a, be. It is a big seller. So, yeah. So I paid a little bit more for that. I think I paid five, but, you know, in that big size, that's the kind of shirts you buy at the sh stores where I shop, the big and tall store. All right, here's a fresh empty tub. Oh my gosh, one tub is empty. Yeah. Yay! So three quick button down shirts. The brand here is nothing. You won't even put it in your title. It's called High Surf. It's just a crappy budget brand. But this is a but a cool brand. shirt. Yeah. Route 66, Americana. You know, you do not. And so here's the tip. When it's a crap brand but a cool print, don't even put the brand in the title. Do just not waste your face. I mean, look at all the key words we're looking at here. There's tons. Those are so good. That's a great shirt. Now, even though it's a crap brand, Cam, I just noticed they did match the pocket up. So that's pretty cool. Huh. See the New Mexico? That's the pocket right there. And so, you know, it yep. takes extra material and time to match it up. So they match did that. It. That's pretty mm -hmm. sweet. Oh, yeah. So what do you think Thanks, they'll get American for that? Uh, I'm going to back up real quick. American Hustle reminded me, DuckTales, coming back to TV. So it's a good time to find that shirt. Uh, so the Route 66, <laughs> I can usually get about 30 bucks for those kind of shirts. Oh, wow, it, for an off-brand. It's already on TV, so I'm a little behind. You're behind now on that, DuckTales. So RJC is a great brand. This is a little bit more vintage RJC. It is a 2XL, but what's really nice about it, it is celebrating Hawaii, our 50th, 50th state, and their actual tikis on the shirt. Oh, that's beautiful. I like that Hawaiian shirt. Oh, so and it's again, in navy? and black. Is it yeah. black or is it navy? No, it is navy. Okay. And then this is the best one. Again, the brand ain't no big deal. It is Benchel Uniforms, so ignore that. But here's what the okay. shirt is. It is for the Grand Prix in Long Beach in general. It is a, and I found <gasps> it, I found this in Salt Lake City. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, these are all the highlights of Long Beach. Uh, uh huh. Where you used to live. Where I used to live, and 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 I worked on the Queen Mary for a season. You did. You don't know. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I was, an, I was an evil clown at the, and the Halloween mazes at, at the Queen Mary. You've never <laughs> seen the pictures? Oh, the no. Oh, you were an evil clown? Oh, yeah. I won uh, uh, somewhere around here. I won the award for best monster for that Halloween because I scared the shit out of people. I did. <laughs> I, I don't have, I don't, even though I don't have the pictures ready to go, I did not know people were afraid of clowns. Oh, my gosh. This was... <laughs> This was 2001. Had no clue people were afraid of clowns. I was actually bummed. I was made a clown. I almost quit. And then the first <laughs> night, we, we practiced with the general public. They got to come in for free on, uh -huh. like, the last Thursday in September. Uh -huh. Once I saw how scared people were, I amped it up, and I scared the shit out of people all night long, and I got the award for Best Monster. Best Clown. Not just Best Clown. Best Monster of the whole maze. And we had a butcher room. We had a crazy chainsaw guy. We had a hangman. We had vampires. But I scared the hell out of everyone. Yeah, people, there. you either like clowns or you don't like them. There's not that in between. And a lot of people don't like them. I can make people cry. I can make people fall down. <laughs> and the way we stood, and I had two female clowns, and one was so tiny, she was about 4'11", 5 foot, and petite. And we would prop her in the corner and sit her like this. And the floor was tilted. So people would walk up to her and they'd look at her and they're like, and, the, and there was loud techno music. Uh -huh. They're like, is she real? In the meantime, scary old me had got in between in their group and I'd be looking down with them. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> And then I quickly realized being bald, I could have two faces. So in about a week, we started putting the same face we put on the front on the back. So as I'm just running in chaos, they don't know if I was coming or going. So it was a lot of fun. If you ever get a chance to work in a haunted house and scare the hell out of people, it's the funnest job you'll ever have. All right. That's great. Speaking of clowns, okay. let's get into the Halloween stuff I found. Now, you know, Halloween's in full swing. I've been telling you to buy costumes. If you haven't, if you've bought them yet and they haven't moved yet, don't forget, mm -hmm. a lot of people buy the last week. They're like, oh shit, I got to decorate my kid. I mean, I put a costume. 
Oops. <laughs> so this is pretty cool. This is a, uh, a full official Eeyore outfit for oh. a kid. And it's and, great because it keeps the... Oh, look at the tail. And the tail does... It is sewn on, but it also... Velcro so it can hang like, like Eeyore's tail Like Eeyore's does. does. Oh. Uh, full feet cover. So this is a full costume. This is not pajamas. This is not some half-assed thing. This is, uh, this oh, is a full costume. Oh, I like costume. Eeyore. And see, parents look for that. I know when I was dressing up my little one, well, when they were little, I was always looking for ones that would keep them warm when they were out trick-or-treating. Oh, that's perfect for you. So, of course, you, you know, go. this doesn't have to be a costume. You can sell Disney ears all time, uh, all year round. So if this doesn't sell by Halloween, I ain't that worried. But it is a Fantasia Mickey Mouse ears hat. Because you're going to just wear it anyways. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Disney hats, although this is for a kid, I'll still put it on. It's the alien from uh, Toy Story and Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, the ones that were in that that crane thing, right? Yep. So, so I got that, and that was like two bucks. Uh, Mickey ears were three bucks. And here I'm going to hide myself for a quick second. Oh no! Uh, because <laughs> although this this character isn't well loved, this mask is pretty bitch and it sells pretty well. <laughs> so let me get it on. Misa Jaja. <laughs> oh my gosh it is only three dollars that <laughs> this is great all right and then uh keep your eyes peeled for t-shirts so i got a pretty cool nightmare uh on elm street t-shirt mm -hmm. and this was a full costume with mask kim uh okay i didn't find the mask but it's still pretty bitchin it is a Jason Voorhees Friday the 13th uh, jersey dress. Oh, uh, I've never seen one like that. That is neat. Oh. I've sold the men's jersey before, but this has got the built-in little tank dress on the inside, so you're not just wearing jersey against your body. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's pretty cool. I wish I had the mask, but I'll, I'll still be able to sell this to some girl who wants to be sexy Jason Voorhees. There you go. And this is, in case anyone wants to be sexy Jason Voorhees, this is size... I have no idea. Oh, medium. There we go. Oh, hey, what size is the ER? Can you see if you can find a size, please, my lovely assistant? The now, ER is so cute. Yeah, one thing you should always look for is good scrubs, and definitely look for good scrubs in uh, for Halloween time. Four to six years. Four to six years wow. on the ER. I so just sold a pair is, of scrubs. Yeah, what what kind? They were um, actually kind of bootlegged from the hospital. My mother-in-law um, was a nurse, so they were from like 1989 was the tag on it. <laughs> what, what I meant was. <laughs> no, was and I couldn't scrub. tell. Oh, they didn't have any tags in it. It just said property of, and it gave the hospital. But so there was nothing, plain, it was so. Like plain blue? Plain blue, plain blue, oh, like surgical awesome. scrubs. Yeah. Uh, Sophia, thank you for looking up the size. Thank you. Uh, this is Wonderful World of Disney. This is Happy Halloween. This is the Cheshire cat, the Siamese cats from uh, Beauty and the Beast. No, I mean, uh, Lady the Tramp. Mm -hmm. And uh, this other cat. What's, it, what's this cat from? The purple one. Um, from Alice in Wonderland, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. So this was, uh, this was a nice scrub. It was uh, $2.99. So that's one Halloween scrub I found. This is another one. Uh, it is a pirate Halloween Disney theme. This one was uh, $3.99. The What's the Cinderella cat? Cinderella cat. Cinderella. This oh, is, Cinderella uh, cat, that's right. <laughs> Gotta get my fairy tales right. See, it's been a long time. These these were size small. Now we're leaving Disney for a second here. We're going into Dora the Explorer. <gasps> Dora. Uh, Dora was $3.99 also. Plus I had 20% off everything. This uh, Dora is small. Unfortunately, these are all small sizes, but I'm still going to be able to get about 20 bucks a pop for these. So you don't look for larger sizes when you're looking for Halloween oh, oh, stuff. I, do. I just oh. happen to find a whole bunch of small, awesome scrubs. Uh, this is a smaller medium. This is uh, Patrick and SpongeBob. Uh, not Halloween, but Hawaiian. So cool as hell. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to leave both Halloween and Hawaii behind, and we're going to go right to Christmas and uh, Minnie Mouse Christmas scrubs. Those are cute. Minnie and Mickey. And some jerk cut the tag out. Now, bring me back with that other Disney one. I know this is the official Disney tag. This is the World of Disney because it looks just like these other tags. So, uh, yep, yep. 
the same purple World of Disney tag. So I'm, seeing I'm, that, I, I know. I can I'm one of those jerks that used to cut tags out. Now I don't. But my kids hated wearing anything with tags. It bugged their neck. And so they would always you know, grab the scissors and chop about. No, ever, no, no tags on anything. So now I'm like, no, don't cut the tags. <laughs> don't cut the tags. Okay. Don't. <laughs> Sophia's very excited about the next thing I'm about to show you. Look in oh, no. the lady, uh, intimate apparel section. You know, I always tell you guys big bras. <laughs> oh. so, along with big bras goes big bustiers. This is a size 4XL. And patriotic, Oh, my. Baby. Wow, I hear the star-spangled banner in my head. <laughs> now, Jeez. of course, again, this could be worn at any time. Some cowgirl would oh, have to sure. wear a country bar but it also could be a costume so we're definitely going to get it up as a costume time so make sure you're separating the um, halloween scrubs into the costume stuff too please all right so if you're not aware of how the new savers discount works every hundred dollars you spend you get 20 percent off but okay. you need to spend a hundred dollars after discount to get it so you need to spend 125 dollars when you get through and discount, then you get the discount 100. So, and I wasn't sure where I was because you cannot, they cannot see where you're at to your next discount. So I rang out and I was like at 90 bucks. I'm like, crap. I'm like, I'll be right back. I'm going to go find 10 more dollars. So I wrote some more stuff off the rack. <laughs> so here's the three things I found. So one was for Stacy, one's a good flip, and one I'm still not sure what it is, but I'm guessing it's going to be a good flip. So this was, <laughs> I did not even realize, I didn't realize by what this was, what it is. You know what that is? Do you know what that is? Yeah. Anyone in the chat know what that is? Oh, isn't was that that commercial that used to be on that Easter Bunny commercial that went bop bop bop? Thank you, Easter Bunny. Uh, no, I'm guessing they're playing off of that, but that was Cadbury Egg, so that's not this. Oh. Anyone know what this is? Who's watching the show right now? Because I just grabbed it because it was cheap. It was a dollar twenty-five, and then I looked at the tag. Nope, not Cadbury. Yes, Christine knew My Little Pony this is a My Little Pony thing. It is. Yay, Christine! Yeah, see, that's my little awesome. Pony. So I was going to grab, it was cool. I was going to grab it for a buck and a quarter anyway. Then I saw it was My Little Pony, and this shirt sells for like 25, 30 bucks pretty consistently. And there's Pinkie a My Pie. Little Pony movie coming out. Yeah, so pink, write down Pinkie Pie, please. Okay, you Thank you, everybody. So then I found this shirt. Uh, this was $3 because it was on sale for Stacy. It's a Hollister shirt, and it says, Shell Yeah. But what's cool <laughs> is. Stacy has it's, the it's, it's best t-shirts ever. I love her shirts. That is. Wow. And the shells are sparkly. Yes, they're sparkly and three-dimensional. So that's uh, Stacy. so we want to put that away. But now here's the thing where I'm not sure about. Oh, the movie's coming out this week. Get that shirt up today, Sophia. Oh, yeah, the little, my little movie. Okay, I can't find this brand, but it's new with tags. It's some Asian brand. It is definitely, uh, what do you call, um, Harajuku kind of style. The dress, and uh, there's the collar, and there's the new tags. Kim, you're muted, in case you don't know. <laughs> Do you hear me, Kim? You you muted yourself somehow. That dress is amazing. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. This was five bucks, and uh, I I got my ten dollars with those three things, so I thought they're pretty cool. Kim, I do not hear you. Let me see if I can turn your mic back on. What'd you do, Kim? All right, Kim, I'm going to have you get out and come back in. We'll see if that'll fix it because you are muted. All right, now, those of you in the Secret Beach and a few of you in the thrifting board, you're going on a cruise with us this, uh, this January. And although my wife is like, are you kidding me? I'm making her wear this. I found a great shirt for her. Yay. You know, the kind of shirt your aunt would wear in like, uh, in Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even know if the brand's anything good, but I, you know, it was only a couple of bucks. Uh, oh yeah. I'm, I'm guessing it's no big deal. Uh, but I tell my wife, she has to wear it on the cruise. Uh, dress. I my don't know. Uh, I hear you now. You do? I hear you, but I don't see you. Okay. Let's see if we can get the both together. Someone said that dress might be considered Lolita style. So, that's uh -uh. So, cool. so you can hear me, but you can't see me. Yes, I see your avatar. Okay, All right. Great. Well, at least you can hear me. Yeah, we're going to finish up the last couple things here. This yeah, is. Like uh, 
You are like Will Sims. I am. So this is pretty cool. It is a polo made in Hong Kong medium uh, winter sweater. Nice. I'm guessing the made in Hong Kong makes it a little bit older too. I did pay uh, six bucks for this uh, and I'm hoping to get at least 50 for it. Huh. Now, Kim, you can see me. I can't see you, but by all accounts, on this side of this robe, it looks just like a blue robe. Nothing exciting. Right. Nothing exciting until you see the brand. And then I found out how much these robes sell for. Ugg. Huh. Ugg robes. Those so, are expensive. Yeah. So used, I'm going to get like 50, 60 bucks for this robe. Wow. And they didn't notice it was Ugg, and they priced it at like 3 or $4. So it wasn't all that, they, they weren't all that exciting. It's a medium robe. Yes, that is an old lady brand on that shirt that I'm making Stacy wear. But speaking of old ladies, this is from the fine, fine um, uh, J.C. Penney's fashion line. Look at this loveliness. Look at the collar. Bam. And it's just a shirt, but it's a shirt with a belt. <laughs> Can you see me so, now? Oh. Yes, I see you now. Good job. Woo! <laughs> so I love, I love vintage shirts. I love vintage shirts when they have belts with them. You know. Don't don't uh, be freaked out by J.C. Penny Fashions or Sears. I'm going to show you a cool Sears thing in a second. This is where you got your clothes back in the day, and this is where people who like vintage stuff, um, what do you call it? Um, no, the the guys with the mustaches and stuff. What do you call those guys? Hipsters. Hipsters. This is the kind of stuff hipsters like. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all. Y'all knew your My Little Pony. Can you help me with this? This is an okay. anime jacket. The jacket's by some just small little shop in Aspen, Colorado called Briggy, B-R-I-G-I. So I don't think the two have anything to do with each other, but I thought it was pretty cool. So I'm oh, guessing this great. is a very, very specific anime color. And look at the giant buttons on the jacket. They're pretty cool. I like that. And it's a shirt? Uh, it's like a jacket. Jacket? Yeah, look at those sparkly buttons. Woo! Pretty. So, does anyone know who this is? So, live, help me out right now, please, if it's after the fact. See, someone said Sailor Moon. I was thinking that, but I'm not 100% sure. It kind of looks like Sailor Moon. It kind of does, but... I got, I got a lot of people or... guessing with question marks. <laughs> Sailor Moon <laughs> question mark? Anime? Misty question mark? <laughs> So, you know, uh, I'll do some more research, but this was uh, four ninety nine, and I saw, I figured, because the brand is not going to be a big deal. It's like, a, it's some little boutique in Colorado. Right. <clears throat> I think it's Sailor. Okay, it's not is. Sailor. It's not? It's not Sailor. All right. No. So, uh, this is uh, a homemade dealie. It is definitely Hawaiian Polynesian, maybe a uniform or maybe a top to a, uh, a performance outfit, but uh, it's a larger piece. It's pretty cool. Uh, there is no size because there is no tag. But uh, for $2.99, uh, because I do sell at Tiki events from time to time, if nothing else, I will take that there. Yeah, it looks like one of those that you'd watch at a show in Hawaii. And uh, this is some brand I never heard of. It's called huh. One Piece, which makes it tricky to look up because <laughs> mm -hmm. One Piece is also a descriptive term of a whole bathing suit. But... Huh. Um, where it differentiates, it's, it's from it's the Norwegian original. And so I cannot find this exact romper, but I can probably get, based on the the nautical theme, I, we're probably going to get like 30, 35 for it. Wow. Got a hood. And what's weird is the entire hood zips up. So if you really want to get away from everybody, <laughs> and there's no eye holes, if you really want to get away, Oh, Robin. Uh, yeah, Robin, I thought you might like that shirt. And it looks like it might be about your size. So, hey, hold hold off on that uh, Polynesian shirt for Robin. All right. Time for another quiz. Cam, you ready? Okay, you're muted again. What do you keep doing? <laughs> <laughs> so, we can't do the quiz. So I'm going to put the quiz down. Uh, Christine, is that link to the um, to the character? What happens if I click that link? Oh, it's the database for anime characters. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm teaching a class in Salt Lake City, and I say one of the hot things that you can find is old uh, windbreakers, the nylon windbreakers from like the 60s. 
even if and it doesn't matter this for a company the weirder the company the better even if it's monogrammed and you can tell it's monogrammed by the old font i go then thrifting after the class and i find this vintage bowling shirt Ooh. for sunset lanes ontario oregon and guess what it's got the vintage monogram and of course her name was dotty of course it was perfect. so i got dotty's old bowling shirt all right kim uh, leave and come back I think you keep bumping the mute button somehow with your fingers. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty bitching. So these are the kind of things most people might pass up. They're like, who gives a crap about some old bowling team? And man, who's going to care about Dottie? Like Dottie is the quintessential old lady name on a bowling <laughs> shirt. It is so perfect. So these are the kind of things that you're looking for. Uh, it is a 50-50 poly cotton blend. And it is a size 36. Okay, I don't see you, but I do hear you, Kim. Okay. And then it's King Louie is the brand, uh, and it's got a little bowling guy. So it's a very specific bowling shirt. So that's very cool. All right, Kim. Here's your okay. quiz. What's this from? Oh, I can't see it on my It's Hold it. Move it over to your right. To my right or to my left? There. No, there, because it's blocking the pictures over this way. Where is this from? I don't know. You've not seen the show? Oh, my. Oh, what is it? It's from the Broadway musical Wicked. Oh, is that? I haven't seen Wicked. Oh, my God. So great. But, yeah, so Wicked stuff always, always sells. Small size, big size, it don't matter. Wicked is an amazing, amazing show. Uh, yep, everyone got it. Wicked. Uh, I don't see a size. Maybe small because it's not a big shirt. That's for dang sure. Yeah. All right, before we get into the tchotchkes, let's finish up with the things I have hanging up. Medium. Oh, it's a medium? Thank you. Okay. It's a medium lady shirt, but very tight. Okay, let's start. Um, so now I'm going to bring in my lovely assistant, my Vanna White. We're going to switch to this camera. So just one at a time, bring it on over here. U Utah, I know Shocker, has a ton of ski suits and ski jackets. No, right here. You're on this camera. <laughs> that was the whole point of this camera. <laughs> Uh, so Spider is a great brand, has been a great brand for a long, long time uh, of ski jackets and ski suits. It's got a built-in or hidden um, hood, and as as uh, Sophia can attest, it's a heavy-duty jacket. You can feel, you can feel how, this is the kind of thing that she would wear in here because she always says it's too cold in there. <laughs> so, so Spider is uh, a great, great uh, company. If you can pick it up cheap, and I got that jacket for six ninety nine minus twenty percent, uh, I will sell that for you know in the neighborhood of the forty to fifty range. And yes, along with Wicked, Book of Mormon is also a great musical that sells everything sells quite well from the Book of Mormon. All right, next jacket, please. So if you live anywhere where they're skiing, go comb through all the ski suits and snow jackets. Okay, this is a vintage Wrangler uh, jean uh, jacket. Uh, it is a size, oh, I had it. It is a size 40, so it's like a large. Um, but where people miss the boat on this, uh, they're not calling it what it is. A lot of people call this a barn jacket, Kim. A barn. Huh. And, and what is on the collar? Is it leather or is it? Yeah, so flip it back around, please, Sophia. Bring it in close. Yeah, so it's a corduroy collar. A corduroy, and, okay. And it's lined on the inside. So people will call that a barn jacket. And if you use that term, you get more money because that's the correct term. But the people who sold this exact jacket recently did not use that term, did not get as top dollar as they should. This was on sale. I got this awesome jacket for $3. And it was one of those things, Kim, it was hanging on the end of a rack where someone else had was going to buy it and decided not to and left it for me. So thank you, whoever that was. And it's called a barn jacket? Yep. And also cowboy. Absolutely. Now, hmm. with popular, uh, uh, Sophia's loving this next jacket. The popularity <laughs> of, uh, so this is us. If you've not seen the show, it was the biggest show from last season, just started this season. It flashes back from modern time to the 70s, and they wear a lot of cool leather coats. This is the kind of thing that you're looking for. They're selling really well right now. This it's is, from yeah, this is uh, made in Spain, right? Is yeah, Spain? yeah, made in Spain. So hold that up there. Uh, it is a hold wow. It up. Back up, hold it up. No, I don't want to see the tag anymore. I see the jacket as a whole. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Hold it up. It's uh, it's a little bit longer. It's got these nice giant wooden. These are wooden buttons. 
give it a little spin around. The only bummer I didn't notice until I got home, it's missing this wooden button. Oh, it's missing right a here. button. You know, it, it's just decorative, but man, that's a bummer. That is going to detract from our sale. But the leather itself is so soft and kick ass vintage. Uh, so, how much? Uh, oh, Christine wants to know how much a jacket go for. So, if you're talking about the barn jacket, I'll probably get around 40 45 for it. This leather coat, if it had the button, I would probably get in the $60, $75 range. I'm going to lose some because you're missing the whole decorative button. So, we'll probably get a eh, 40 range. And this one is uh, made in the USA. It is Remy, R E M Y. Again, hold it up so they can see the whole jacket. Uh, again, it's that vintage look that you would see on the characters and This Is Us when they flash back to the 70s. Turn it around, please. Uh, this brand does quite well, and I'm probably going to get in the neighborhood of 40 to 50 bucks. I paid $7.99 for that jacket. Wow. Cool. Now, All right, why wouldn't you I, just sell, uh, like, two buttons on the back of that jacket and get more money? Well, you'd have to find that exact wood button to go with the rest of them. Yeah, but if you changed very... out the two, both of them, or do they match the front? I would feel bad because those wood buttons are very specific, but I'll look yeah. for that button. All right, the next thing is when I said you get your fine fashions from Sears. <laughs> this is bad. Go to the back. Go to the back. So bring it just like that. I wore and all Sears clothes growing up. I used to go through the catalog and pick them. This is uh, their travel uh, line. And what's badass is it's not just the coat. So back it up and spin it around, please. It is the full suit. Woo, look at that. Bring it closer now. <laughs> Great buttons. Whoops. Uh, and this is the Travel Knit King's Road line from Sears. I've always done quite well. When you find the puke greens or the uh, mint chocolate chip greens, they do the best. But to find the whole suit for $7.99. That's very fancy. Pretty bitchin'. So that'll do quite well. Again, this is a great hipster thing. Could be a Halloween costume if you want to dress up as your uncle from this. Your drunk uncle. <laughs> so we will definitely do that. Now, speaking of your drunk uncle, who's he married to? Your aunt who smokes too many cigarettes. And she would be wearing this awesome house coat. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Come on over. Look at this. All right, so back up a little bit. Look at this uh, beautiful. Oh, yeah, there, right there. So it comes, wow. with, it comes with the uh, the the tie, the the uh, belt, and bring it close so we can see the pattern here. Yeah, it's got this floral pattern here. I don't, wow, back it up a little bit. Nice. Let me see if we can shine a light on it. Does that do anything? That help? You know, and let me tell you the feel of it. If you lit a match anywhere within ten feet, it would go up in flames like that. Probably. <laughs> But it is in, but it is in great condition. I mean, it is in excellent condition. It, and, and look at look at the look at the collar here. Yeah, show the collar too. The collar is fantastic. Uh, look at it's, uh, yeah, got the pointed collar. <laughs> the brand wasn't nothing, but you know we'll definitely have to work on keywords because it is beautiful and bitchin'. It's drunk uncle's wife. Yes, and like someone like Jenny said, Aunt Chippy from the Jimmy Kimmel show. That's Hell to the <laughs> All right, I did find one great moo moo. And what I really liked about it, uh, it's a good pattern. Some mermaid motion. Come on over here. But yeah, as you can see, it's got, hold it, hold it up higher. I know oh, you're that's, I like, that's pretty. It's got that great slit up the side there. Yeah, hold it up so you can see the slit. That's there beautiful. Yeah, so that one's, uh, and I, I think the brand was uh, Royal Creations, if I'm not mistaken. Royal Creations. Yeah, Royal Creations is a great brand. Actually, bring it down here. We'll show them the label. It's you know, it's not a fancy brand, but it's a good vintage brand. It sells quite well. Uh, but this this dress is uh, gorgeous. Nice pink. Great. I would have bought like, it for the design. I love the I love the fabric. It's beautiful. And uh, what size was that? Uh, large. Large. Okay. And then speaking of your great Anne, when she's not wearing her house coat, she'll be wearing this awesomeness. Now this is homemade. But I could not leave it behind. This is homemade. Yes, this fabulous. is homemade. It's oh fabulous. You're right. <laughs> All right, bring it down here. Look at the collar. Bring it in. Look at these buttons. Look at the collar. Wow. <laughs> this is silver sparkle right here. See-through sleeves. And it's got the hardware on the sleeves, too. And, yes, this is a homemade jobby. It's got the darts uh, and everything. But, uh, that's for a night out on the town. Yeah, that's that's awesome. So again, we're gonna have to be creative with our with our keywords because there's no. Oh, Marsha Brady, yes. Yeah. 
Uh, and then we're going to jump ahead about uh, 15 years. Your grandmother is now uh, older, and then she's going to wear this. <laughs> I see what's coming. She's going to wear this, she's gonna wear this uh, bingo night. Bam! Yeah. Look at this, gorgeous. <laughs> That's great. You don't know this brand. It's a pretty great brand for uh, older sparkly ladies. It's Lawrence Kazar. This is a 1X, so it's a little bit bigger. But if you hold it back again, it's just so sparkly and pretty. It now, is Lawrence sparkly. Kazar. About four years ago, sold for a little bit better money, but this was uh, four ninety nine, and yeah, I'll get uh, I'll get forty forty five bucks for that easily. Yes, yeah, cruise dress up night. <laughs> Dinner All with right. the captain. I'll go to the non clothing things, and then we'll finish on the three coolest things I found in the Halloween section. Pretty much all together. We okay. talked we talked about this the other day. Blow molds always do well. Mm -hmm. this is not not a huge one, but this one, this specific one, has been consistently selling for thirty bucks, and I paid uh, two ninety nine for it. I thrifted him too, but I think I'm keeping him. I love him. I like him. Yeah, he's yeah you need to keep him. Uh, in the hat section, you know, when you find a hat that fits you perfectly and goes so well with you, <laughs> you just have to keep it. <laughs> I mean. I kind of look like a Viking, and that like fits my giant melon perfectly, so I'm definitely keeping my horns. Uh, also in the hat section, I got a Slipknot We Won't Die hat. Probably get uh, twenty twenty five for that. I paid two ninety nine. Now, what's weird is, do you know the brand guy Harvey Kim? Yes. He does nautical shirts, a lot of fish stuff. This right, hat says right. one guy. This hat says one size fits all. Well, it don't fit me. I can't, I can't get it on my hat. So one size fits what? Third, I don't understand how this is one size fits all. Because usually, no. usually one size, you can squeeze it on your head. It hurts a little bit. I can't you even, can't even get squeeze it, it on the top there. No. Maybe it's a, so maybe it's a juniors gonna, or something. It, it, would you, have you ever seen juniors marked one size fits all? No. Like, well. Guy Harvey doesn't really make kids no. clothes. You know, it's like. It's, it's sport fish and stuff. Now, the other thing I like that I'm going to keep is this hat. It says creature. It is green on green, but it's very cool. Very Halloween. Oh, very... kind of sparkly. It like shimmers. Well, I think that's just the, the, the camera. Yeah, so it, it's, it's just cool. green on green. It's very Psycho Billy. If you don't know what Psycho Billy is, it is rockabilly to a kind of a next level, kind of a horror level. So I thought that was very <laughs> cool. Speaking of horror... I couldn't figure out exactly what this was at first, but I did with a little research. It is from Department 56. Department 56 makes great brands, uh, great stuff for uh -huh. holidays. This, anyone want to guess what this is? So there's a little hole in the bottom. It Can holds candy or something. Gum yes, and what you do is you pull the tongue out and the candy falls into the bottom. <laughs> Yay, I got it! I guessed it! Isn't that cool? <laughs> Sophia's liking that. She get her eyes all lit up. <laughs> ah, Sophia, just put it in the purse. <laughs> and I've talked about this before. We help out the local pug uh, rescue all the time. There are so many dogs, and I'll get, I'll get on my soapbox for a quick second. If you're getting a dog, please go rescue one. There is rescues for every breed of dogs. A lot of people don't know what they're getting into when they get dogs, and they have to give them up. It's very sad, but we always help them out, and they run auctions a few times a year. So when I find cool pug stuff at the thrift store, I saved for the auction, so although he is adorable as he is, he's wearing an adorable t-shirt too. Pugs, not drugs. Oh. <laughs> so we will use him for the next pug auction to make some money. I've talked about these many times. These are from the Hallmark store. They uh, they dance and sing. I got to put fresh batteries in, but they retire them after one year, and these always do quite well. You always do. Uh, what do you always do when you sell these? You put a video in so you can see him singing and dancing. And this was four bucks. Are you still with me, Kim? I am. Are you, are you kind of cutting in and out? Can you still hear me? Yes, I can still hear you just fine. Okay, good. All right. I haven't found a good one in quite a while, but I did in Salt Lake City. Easton softball bat. That's good. <clears throat> yep. An and Easton it was, bat. It was only uh, uh, $4. And I remember Teresa called, talking to us about those. Yep, Black Max. And so, if you don't know bats, as you can see, this one's been used. It ain't pretty, but there's no big dents. 
and it'll still sell. And and good, good softball bats new are three to five hundred dollars. And most of the bats I sell go to Europe. So make, really? and, and make, make sure you have international. And guess what? Ain't nothing to right. break. You really could just stick the label on it, but we do put it down on a poster tube, wrap the label around, and off it goes. So you don't even need packing material or anything because obviously it's a pretty solid item. And <laughs> when you sell the bat, your opening shot does not have to be this because this is a very long and, and stupid opening shot. Either either do just this or the Or just that side. That's great. And you just throw them in a poster or, tube. Yep, or shoot it down the barrel like this. So you will see the whole bat, but you're putting the Easton or the Black Max closest to the camera. That's a great okay, tip. So that, now, I like to collect the little pop guys only when I thrift them. So I have a whole little collection sitting on my desk here. Oh, man, uh, I will add this to it. Uh, this is from Loot Crate. Loot Crate is a monthly subscription service where you get toys and t-shirts in the mail. This is not a big seller to flip, but I this is one of my favorite characters of all time. So uh, I picked him up for three bucks. He's going to sit on my desk. This is old Wolverine. This is Logan. This is Wolverine as an old man. So, oh, but like keep one. your eyes peeled for. See the loot crate right there. Keep your eyes peeled for yeah. stuff from loot crate. It'll it'll uh, do quite well for you. And be in Salt Lake City. These are snowboard boots that you sell for like fifty to sixty dollars. And these were four dollars and ninety cents. No, uh, they, priced, they priced them way too low. I have no idea why they were so low priced. But that is <laughs> that's a crazy the price. That they the thrift store is in Salt Lake City, where they're a ski, and they see it so often. To them, it's like nothing. Nothing, right? But when you sell it online, you can get good money. I think the Rasta was added, <laughs> but it's cool. We'll sell it as Rasta. We'll sell it as Rasta. Uh, Oh, they'll sell in a minute. Uh, look at the book section and always look. This was at a record store. You would typically not find nudie type books uh, in uh, thrift stores, especially major chains like Goodwill and Savers, but in, in record stores, you will. So this is all um, erotic art. Ooh, ooh boobies. Uh, but this huh. I bought for uh, five bucks, and this book is selling consistently for about $35. Now, will you sell that on eBay? Uh, I'll probably throw them on Amazon first because I can list so quick. And then if right. they don't sell quick enough on Amazon, then I move it to eBay. So if you go to a record store, go to the book section, always check the adult or erotic or art section. And if you don't know, this is one of the top game bolos of all time. You should. And I think I shared the picture. Um, maybe I didn't, but I will on the thrifting board. This was sitting in the game section. So all the games were lined up like this, Kim. And this one was on uh -huh. top like this. Like it was waiting. Like it was just waiting for me. <gasps> Jumanji! And if you don't know, the new Jumanji movie with The Rock is coming out, and it looks kind of funny. It looks really funny. I loved Jumanji. So, uh, Jumanji is one of the top games to find and to flip. It is used. It's a little dinged up. The corner's a little beat, but all the pieces are there, and the movie comes out in December, I think, or November, so it's coming out very soon. Mm -hmm. So, perfect time to find it. But like I said, it was just sitting on the top shelf like this. Like, hello, Jason, come get me. And what are you going to sell that for? Sell that for? Uh, the used ones, a little dinged up, are probably getting like 40 ish. Huh. I mean, I'll, I'll talk to you after the and show. The, one <laughs> gonna list now. the sealed one's going to go for 100 at least. So I have a sealed one, too. All right. Last couple things. I'll let you guys get on your way. Kim, what are these? Oh, I thought they were purses at first because I thought they were, <laughs> but they're CD holders, right? Nope. Tape nope. cassette. Go ahead. Gotta go. Huh? Go older. Go older. <laughs> tape cassette. Tape? Go older. Go older the tapes? Oh, eight track. You got it. Now, these are faux alligator. <laughs> they're not worth a ton. I mean, they're worth okay. I paid, um, uh, uh, Five dollars for them, but I have a ton of good A tracks behind me. So although I was going to pass them at first, I decided to get them because I will then pair my cool A track collection with these. But the bonus is, not only was the case five bucks, so was all the A tracks in them. Now the bummer oh is, <laughs> they're boring. They're they're not exciting. Like back there, I've got like rock A tracks, like Heart and Zeppelin. In here, we have the Magic Organ. And Lawrence Well, 
So not the most exciting collection. <laughs> I'm but milk. It is a full collection. So what I will do is I will put uh, this collection together because both of these for five dollars, the case and the Atrex. Wow. So, so I will use everything to sell it. I just won't sell it probably how it came. I will reposition it to make top dollar. Mm -hmm. Okay, you need to uh, put this one on, actually. What? Do you have an 8-trap player? I do, but I ruined it by cleaning it. I never, ever clean stuff. I got it. It played fine. I probably thought I should clean the heads, and when I cleaned the heads, I screwed it up. Oh, no. Yeah. All right. So Sophia's trying this on for two reasons, so you can see it better, and so she can explain how heavy it is. Is that the heaviest overcoat you've ever put on in your life? Uh, pretty close. Yeah. Pretty close. It's... Yeah. This is, again, we're going old school. This was a wool uh, knitted in Ireland. And uh, that's the brand. What is the brand? Come in a little closer. Kuppenheimer. Oop, back it up a little bit. Kuppenheimer, huh? Uh, but it, I'm sorry, it actually fits me. So I don't live in place cold, but if I don't sell it fast enough and I got to go someplace fun, I will rock that jacket. This thing is amazing. Yeah, it's a, it's a bitchin'. It weighs pounds. 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 All right. Last things, and I'll show you the most kick-ass stuff I found in the um, the Halloween section. These are Nick and Nora sheets. Uh, the queen set used just sold for 50 bucks. So keep your eyes peeled for Nick and Nora sheets, especially the ones with the pink flamingos on them. I love those. And these are vintage made in the USA. Buzz Lightyear sheets. Not even <laughs> really. I mean, they are Toy Story, but they're specifically Buzz Lightyear. There's no, there's only the alien. Uh -oh. The alien. No, nobody else does Buzz on them. Yep. Oh, and the little alien guys. Yep. Two. Yes, you're right. That that overcoat would be something Sam Kinison would wear. Good, good. Is that not his jacket? All right. <laughs> So uh, I am going to get uh, the next thing in place, and I forgot I'm going to actually model something. You're going to love what I'm modeling here, but i got to find something. Well, I think the mo modeling of your hat is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, so Sophia, bring the other thing over that um, – we have on the mannequin because again, I found some awesome uh, homemade item uh, to where you're standing there. And uh, there is no, there is no labels. Oops. So I thought okay. um, but it's so good made. I, I'm shocked that it is uh, a homemade dealy, but Maybe they cut the tags here. off. You know, I can't find even where. There we go. There are no tags on this Okay. For, for you ladies who like your camo, but yet like a nice evening gown to go out with, I present you this dress. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, that is curls around the neck. <laughs> Woo! I'm shutting me down because I need to. Uh, I need to get into something else. Uh, if you spin it around, it has a built-in bra. Oh, look at that! If you show it up from the bottom, so uh, show the lining. I like, pull it up from the bottom. You can see the lining. Yeah, just pull the dress up from the bottom. <laughs> Fully lined, full built-in bra. And so my thought. You could be uh, GI Jane. My thought is maybe, maybe bridesmaid dresses. Oh, wow. well, something, something was full on wedding. <laughs> I I think maybe that there was ten girls all dressed the same. <laughs> you excited by what you're seeing there, there, Sophia? I am. That <laughs> is great. Sophia is loving the thing I'm about to model. So uh, before I turn my camera back on, uh, this was a brand that was on Shark Tank. And I'm not sure if they're selling this exact shirt anymore, but I was going to keep it and wear it this Halloween, but it's actually flipping for about 30 bucks. What? And I paid $3. Wow. 
So let me show you what interactive clothing looks like. Okay, you ready, Kim? Okay. Here's a t-shirt of a Cyclops, and the bitchin' part is... It lights up. No, look at his eyeball. <gasps> How do they move? How's it move? It's magic. Is that bitchin' or what? That is... You have to keep that. I like that so, one. So what the trick is, is just my iPhone, and you download the app. Oh my gosh, and you put it inside the t-shirt. Now what's cool is, if you don't have your phone in there, it's still got one eyeball. That is awesome. Let me hide this again, because I'm not going to get naked on, on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll show you the brand, because if you find these shirts, I'm really shocked that they're flipping for $30. And th this is new with tags still. Wow. Right, back, to be, back to being dressed. So a company's called Digital Duds. And uh, there is the tag. Could not. Could it be any bigger? <laughs> hmm. And then it, it tells you to put your phone right there. Now they made all kinds of cool stuff. They did a line with uh, Marvel, and so you would wear a uh, um, Iron Man T-shirt, and you would put your phone in there, so it'd be this glowing little heart thingy. They also did masks, so you could slip it in a mask, and you could have that eyeball bouncing around on a Cyclops mask. So they made all kinds of cool stuff. And they were on Shark Tank. Yeah, they're on Shark Tank. Hmm. So that is not the coolest thing I found in the Halloween section, nor was the is that, You mean there's something cooler? Yep. So this is what your auntie would be wearing in the 60s after she got out of the pool. Here's a house coat made out of towels. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Look at, <laughs> look at the fringe. So this oh, was, wow. again, this was in the Halloween section. There are no labels. Someone, I think, just took towels and made this from a pattern. So that that's is pretty cool, though. <laughs> I think I would but wear that. For <laughs> here we are at 1110. I am now going to show you the greatest <laughs> homemade shirt you have ever found in a thrift store, okay. bar none. So, okay. ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to dress up, as a pumpkin for Halloween on the easy. So not even get like a full costume. All you need. Okay. One orange t-shirt, orange yarn, and a whole lot of real pumpkin seeds. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, you <laughs> can be a pumpkin. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Somebody is. Yeah. Is that the most badass? That is very cool. <laughs> yeah, this was, uh, <laughs> and I paid three dollars and twenty cents because I could not leave this awesomeness. No, no, behind. you have definitely have to bring that home. What a clever idea! Bloop, 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 bloop. Yeah, so if this was my size, I would so rock it. Is only an extra large. I could wear it, maybe a little tight. So, uh, but uh, this. That is so cool. Is this the coolest thing? That is so cool. I should have had Sophia's face. Oh, no, your face was on. Because oh. your face lit up. You were like, oh, my. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> so that is my haul. Like I said, there's a few things downstairs, some jeans. That'll be good flips. They're just not exciting to show the same kind of 501 benches over and over. But, you know, I hope when, when I do these hauls, it opens your eyes to new stuff, new brands, uh, just weird shit like this. Because I could sell this shirt easily. I'll probably hang on to it for a while because it's amazing. No, you need to hang on to that one for a while. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They yeah. really are real pumpkins. Yes, they really are real pumpkins. Someone sat down, glued them all on, glued on the yarn for the Look pumpkin in there. Look at <laughs> face. <laughs> <laughs> you look a little horrified there. <laughs> Really but but look at the cool stuff I could find in the Halloween section. The camo evening dress, the the towel turned into a house coat, this, the t-shirt with the cyclops, the cool mask. There's all this great stuff in Halloween sections. So you should be out looking for them. And that's what I do. And then this is what Sophia's gonna be working on for the rest of the week now. So she's You're gonna be busy, Sophia. Yes, she is. I am. So hey, uh Kim, even though we can't see you, we can hear you still. You are responsible for my guest this week on Thrifty Business. So why don't you give uh, Sally Ann Rooster a little plug? How'd you find Sally Ann? Actually, when I put out um, the letter on the board and just said we're looking for new new guests to show their things, she was the very first one that responded. And 
she has her name Sally Ann Rooster, and she specializes in life size characters. So she has a life size Spider Man, Batman, a, a bull. Um, and then what was that? What was the one, the Star Wars character that you liked, Jason? The Rancor. So, yeah, you're seeing the Rancor. Or say when I hit the link, I'm in the picture of the Rancor, and she has a core that's like full strength. I mean, it's insanely awesome, and uh, she she specializes in big characters, and she sells a lot on apps and Facebook. So we're gonna talk yeah, about she's that. Yeah, Facebook Marketplace, um, and she that's where she's done her most of her business, or on apps and Facebook Marketplace. And real quick, uh, John, thank you for reminding me. John said, what, no CDs in your hall? Oh, no, just the opposite, John. They've all been <laughs> uh, listed in funk, but here is the picker. And that is 100 and I spent $807 on those 120 CDs. And I'm going to uh, turn – oops, oops. I'm going to turn that into about three thousand dollars in sales. There were lots of seats, and so as soon as I sell them, if you keep watching Thrifty Business on Thursday nights, I will be sharing the scores. I listed these last night. I sold one for forty-five dollars that I paid six bucks for. So they're already off and running. So <clears throat> yes, I always love hunting down CDs, and. Uh, the scores on three business now like i said everything you saw today's for sale i just got a message on the shock g t-shirt so if there's <laughs> something you like, feel free to reach out uh, to me i can get you sizes i can get you measurements i am more than happy to cut uh, deals with you uh and then last but not least if you're in the vegas area and you hear this today and today is october 3rd tonight is my uh, sin city ebay sellers meetup at the uh, mimi's cafe on stephanie right near the mall in Henderson at the corner, pretty much at the corner of Stephanie and Sunset, right next to Sunset Station. So if you want to come down, we got about 30 people coming tonight. We are talking two things. Oddly enough, we're talking CDs and Halloween costumes with my new co-host, Heather Worth. Heather's going to be talking what's trending in Halloween costumes, and I'm going to be talking uh, the terms you need to know about CDs and how to find them and how to sell them. So if you're in the Vegas area, hop over to meetups.com. Uh, Look for the Sin City Sellers eBay Meetup. Sign up, RSVP. We got about 30 people coming. Come on down. Mimi's is a restaurant. It's got food. It's got beer. It's got wine. And it's got me and Heather teaching you all about CDs and Halloween costumes. And that's it. So, Kim, uh, although you've been hidden for the last 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I became Wilson. Uh, <laughs> I'm Wilson. Uh, I'm talking through the fence. Yes. So, thank you very much for being my co-host on my halls. I loved having you. and. Uh, uh, I think yeah, I'm going to have you again fun. someday. Yes. Well, we, we got to get your computer fixed to make this a little yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, I know. We'll have to work on that later. Two minutes before we went to air. So we will get that yes. fixed before next time, but we'll do this again. Not so thank a problem. you for tuning in. Please subscribe down below. Please hit the like button if you liked what you saw, if you learned anything today. And tune in Thursday night, 9 p.m. on the East Coast, 6 p.m. on the West Coast for 50 Business, and you're going to see the most bitchin' full-size characters that Sally Ann sells, especially the Rancor. If you're a Rancor or a Star awesome. Wars fan, you have to see this Rancor. It's so amazing. And, yeah, Sophia it said is, it is amazing. so amazing. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. I'm going to go work on my webinar for tonight since there's never a dull moment. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Later. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.